Good morning, adventurers. Morning. It's another awesome day here in Australia. Mm -hmm. Got up at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> 6 a.m., not yeah. that bad. We actually went to bed early, but I slept horribly. You guys, I got, I got this cough. bad cough I'm trying to get over. Today, we are marking another thing off of our bucket list. If you thought we were coming to Cairns and not going and visiting the Great Barrier Reef, well, you, you were, were almost wrong. right. Almost right. <laughs> You're wrong, but it is school holidays right now, and we had a heck of a time finding someone that could let us on board. Yes. We were emailing and calling people last minute, being like, please, can you squeeze us in? And finally, we found a tour that's going to take us out there. So it's called the Great Barrier Reef for very good reason. It is the largest coral reef in the entire world. It stretches over 2300 kilometers and can actually be seen from space. We're boarding in about 20 minutes but there is a little cafe behind us. I might convince Eric to get a cheeky little coffee and then we'll be sailing off. Well we found our vessel. It is a bit smaller than I realized. I knew that it only allowed 25 people on the tour, but I just didn't think about how that would mean that the boat is really small. Yeah. <laughs> so we might be getting a little seasick. We'll Maybe, see. but one thing I really like is that it has a whole covered back end, so no sunburn for me today. No. Officially sailing, y'all. We've got about two hours or so, did they say, to get to the reef. We're on one of the slower <laughs> boats, but it's more chill. Not slow, but chill, you know? Yeah. The other boats are speeding past us, but they're a lot bigger than this one. Y'all, it has gotten crazy out here. It's super windy and these waves are a bit intense. The entire front of the boat is just getting doused with water, so everyone had to move to the back. It's a little wild. Yeah. I'm very glad that I took my uh, ginger pills yeah, good call. I'm hoping they'll last till we get to the island because it's still a good bit away. We have arrived at our snorkel spot and we are actually going to have a couple guides swimming around in the water with us, which we've never done before. And I think that's gonna help. There's supposed to be a bunch of really cool parts to the coral reef here where like you can get really close to the top and then they have these really steep drop offs and they say it's perfect for seeing all kinds of amazing fish. Apparently they spotted a turtle when we came in and they're gonna try and find that for us and direct yeah. us to it. Oh my gosh, if we've never seen a turtle in the wild. That would be amazing to happen today. That's the beauty of having a guide. They're gonna be able to show us a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. but we're gonna get geared up and get our snorkel on. you guys that was amazing but uh we've worked up an appetite and they have lunch here waiting for us and we're gonna be the last people eating so we're gonna run in there <laughs> yeah eric has been out uh, about 20 minutes longer than anybody else just getting yeah. all the shots while i'm like all right there's less and less food but i'm sure it was totally worth it because i think he got some bad yeah. stuff down there you guys saw that turtle out there me and yeah. we're just hanging out it yeah was it was very cool we saw so many things down there so many bright colors and a turtle ah! We are back. 
back on land. <gasps> Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a little island called Green Island that's just off of the part of the reef that we were snorkeling at. But uh, they actually have a resort on this island. It was created obviously over a long time. There was just like a little bump in the ocean and debris would catch there and eventually it formed this whole sandbar, or this, yeah. I guess now island, and then birds flew over. And then I they think... thought, you know what this sandbar could use? <laughs> a resort. A resort. <laughs> but it would be a pretty sick place to stay. But yeah, I think we're just gonna mosey around and explore the island a bit. the crocodiles are here is because a guy back in the day would go and capture potentially dangerous crocodiles. Not a guy, the crocodile hunter, the, the original, original crocodile hunter would go and get these guys that were causing trouble, I guess. And then he would bring them here. And I think they said that they have the largest one in captivity in the world. Yeah. His name is Cassius and he is 5.48 meters. Or about 20 feet. Yeah. That is a big old crocodile. Also, look how old he is. 110 years old. 110 years old. Sadly, you have to pay to enter the crocodile park and it's 20 AUD a person. Yeah. And that gives you an all day pass, which is probably a pretty good deal, but we're only here for another hour. So probably not a good idea for us to do it. No, but, but if you come here, do it. Yep, let us know how it goes. <laughs> we decided to come into the resort grab a frosty beverage. The wine frosty. was the cheapest and it actually sounded pretty good. So Yeah, nice and cold. We were walking around on the beach and it was getting hot out there. Ooh, baby. And uh, the last time we were on a boat, our, when we were sailing around the Whit Sundays, I got a pretty wicked burn. Yeah, it's she was peeling now. today from it, but you're looking pretty good now. All right, maybe yeah. that salt water washed it away. Nice job. But I'm very scared of the sun now. It is very mean here. There are also all these little birds roaming around and I think that they just get in the way of people because I was walking, I felt something, I kicked something fuzzy and it was one of those these little birds. I felt so bad, but yeah, some of them look a little mangled because I think they get beat up by the other ones and kicked by humans. <laughs> Heading back in, we're almost on the mainland, but we've got like a bit of a downpour going on. Kind of soured the mood a bit. Yeah, it's a, li it's a little wet. Everyone had to pile in here. Uh, I think it looks like we've sprung a leak because water's coming in from all angles, but I, we're nice and cozy right here. Yeah, and our skipper is doing a hell of a job. He just got his so boat on and it's no big deal. They were super nice on this boat. That was probably the highlight for me. Yeah, the crew was fantastic and there were so many, there were four of them and there were only, there were a little less than 25 of us. So it was a super personal experience. It was awesome. We're back on the mainland. It's nice to only spend a day on a boat <laughs> instead of multiple days because it gets a little hardcore. Yeah, we've been on a boat a lot and it just, my poor tummy just can't handle it anymore. But that was our last day here. So last day on a boat, we will be heading down to Melbourne tomorrow. Very yep. excited. We will be flying Qantas, which I think is one of our favorite airlines ever. Mm -hmm. And then we will be doing mm. way more fun stuff down there. But if you guys get a chance to go on one of these cruises out to the Barrier Reef, totally worth it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so glad that I saw the turtle because I've never got the chance to swim with the turtle. I almost saw a shark, but I, right as I got out of the water, they started circling around the boat. Swimming with sharks definitely would have been a highlight, but swimming with turtles yeah. was a very nice alternative. Maybe a much more pleasant alternative, actually. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed all the underwater shots and the adventure today, but I think that's gonna do it for us. We gotta go home and do a little bit of work, do a little bit of packing, cook a little dinner. Oof. Today, though, was totally awesome. You saving that one up? That was, the, that was the one. I heard somebody on board, one of the crew said that, and I was like, I'm gonna use that later. She did, she told that to me. She wouldn't tell me what the joke is. like, I'm gonna tell you a joke. There you have it. It's a good one, right? It's good, I guess. All right, good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>